this weather forecast. Well, good morning. It was a cool start today and it's going to be a pretty cool afternoon as we continue to mix clouds with sun and the later we go through today, the more that cloud cover will start to increase here in Lewisburg. This is on the campus of Bucknell University. There's plenty of blue sky and just a few clouds that are mixing in here and there, but it's not this way everywhere. We actually have cloud cover that's taking over here in drums, so not that much of a difference in space here and the cloud cover is really pretty patchy in some areas. You can actually see it on satellite and radar up in the northern tier, further back into central Pennsylvania. Few clouds that are mixing in, but the further south and east we go, the more cloud cover we end up running into. Eventually today, these clouds will continue to take over, but for right now, it's really just luck of the draw. The further north and west we are, the more sunshine, further south and east the more cloud cover. And the reason for this is actually because of Dorian. So there's Hurricane Dorian spinning off that east coast right now of North Carolina, affecting areas like Virginia right now, portions of Maryland and Delaware. As that pulls away, it actually starts to interact with a smaller storm system that's up in the Great Lakes. And there's some rain showers coming with that as well. So as that comes to slide through a little bit later on today and tonight, we need to watch out for just a couple of stray rain showers. Temperatures are sitting in the 60s, so still pretty cool right now. We'll experience Scranton 64, Mount Pocono, we're at 60, Pottsville 63, and Sealands Grove at 65. Temperatures are going to make it into the lower 70s today. I'm really thinking that's about as good as it's going to get. And then as we continue into the evening, it's quick back down to the 60s and eventually the 50s by tomorrow morning. And we're ending up just slightly below average. So here's those two storm systems that are sort of drawing energy off of one another. This one going to be the main rain producer and that being said, it's not going to give us much. So some cloud cover increasing a couple of stray rain showers to keep an eye out for that even sticks around going into tonight and then tomorrow it'll be a gloomy day, but the rain is not going to be around all day. It will just be an isolated rain shower through the afternoon and evening tomorrow. No plan canceling weather and then this area of high pressure will build in for Sunday. That'll give us more sun to end the weekend. So today in your eyewitness weather forecast, 72 for the high, partly to mostly cloudy. And remember, that just depends where we are. And with that shower to keep an eye out for this afternoon, another installment of Football Friday, a passing shower by kickoff at 7 o'clock. We're at 68, halftime in the final whistle. We're down to the mid-60s and just some lingering cloud cover. 54 for the overnight low tonight. Mostly cloudy, cool, and we'll toss in a rain shower as well through the overnight, as we will tomorrow. But remember, it's not a soaker by any means. So we can still get stuff done tomorrow at 74. Sunday, clouds and sun, 72. Monday, a very isolated shower. We're near 70. Tuesday, clouds and sun, 72. Near 80 Wednesday, but it does come with a little bit of rain. And then Thursday, back to the 70s. Don't forget the Eyewitness Weather app. You can always download that on your phones and tablets. The forecast is available at pahomepage.com. Now we'll throw it to Kelly.